Hi everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from the National Business Aviation Association Convention in Las Vegas. You know, by business aircraft standards, the airplane behind me is really not that big, but it's still pretty big. It's Diamond's largest airplane. It's the new DA-62. Now, it's being introduced here at the NBAA, and we talked to Peter Maurer about what the market intent for this aircraft is and about some of its features. Okay, this is our new DA-62. We decided to show it at NBAA for a couple of reasons. One is the timing of the year is great. Uh, the aircraft is coming into North America. We're delivering first aircraft uh, early next year. And on top of that, we also think that this is probably the first aircraft that Diamond has produced uh, that has uh, a potential market in air taxi, uh, light corporate work, maybe as a complement to an existing corporate jet, and um, air taxi and charter business. Well, the aircraft is um, a development of our DA-42. It's a much larger aircraft. It's the largest propeller aircraft that we've produced to date. Um, it has standard five seats in two rows, so two in front and three in the second row. And then we have an optional third row seat, so that makes it very unique because we can seat up to seven people. So it has a payload that's fairly good also, um, even with a lot of optional equipment. The aircraft is available with a uh, known ICE certification, a TKS system. We have air conditioning standard in the North American configuration. Um, we have oxygen available. And so even very well equipped, the aircraft has the ability to carry a lot of people and a lot of baggage. The engines are uh, our proprietary Austro engine turbo diesel engines. Um, they uh, burn jet fuel, um, so they're very clean. They have very low specific fuel consumption, very low fuel burn. This aircraft can easily cruise at 15, 16, 17 gallons per hour at good speeds. Also lead-free fuel, so there's a lot of concern about AV gas uh, in the industry in general, and this sidesteps that. Uh, they're automotive engines, uh, turbocharged. Uh, they maintain power to uh, high altitude, 100% power to 14,000 feet, and they give the aircraft uh, uh, very good performance in combination with very high fuel efficiency. The aircraft is certified in Europe by IASA. It was certified in April. Uh, we had, uh, quite honestly, hoped to get FAA certification uh, by NBAA. It's in process and we think it's imminent. Um, we had to certify both the engines um, and the aircraft itself because these engines are 180 horsepower, so they're development of the existing 170 horsepower engine. So the FAA has to go through the validation of the engines and then the aircraft, and that's taking a little bit longer than we expected, but we expect it imminently. Price range starts just above a million dollars, typically equipped as most people would buy it with the three row seats, with oxygen, with air conditioning um, and other options. The aircraft will be priced at about 1.25, again depending on options.